In this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to make a preset using pad motion layers. So I'm starting off with this template preset that we created called init rhythm template. Uh, all this is, is it's pretty basic. There are no uh, other modulations on except for one LFO per layer. And um, each layer has its own division of the beat. So the first layer is at half note. Second layer is fourth note, eighth note, sixteenth note. You get it. Um, and they're all tied um, to the volume right now. They're not modulating any of the other parameters. So to start off with, let's hear what we got. <laughs> You can easily decipher the different subdivisions going on on each layer by just hearing that. Um, so if I wanted to change something already first off, I think I want to change one of the layers. I'm not sure which one it is. You can kind of tell just by looking at the VU meters or you can just go about soloing them. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not the fourth one either. So I'm going to guess it's the first one. Yeah, I think I want to change that. So right now we're on sample, we're on the first layer already. Um, I can just go through and start clicking around on certain things here and see if I like it. I think I'll settle with that one. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. See how it fix, fits in the mix. Easily just balance what we've got here. Okay, not too bad. Um, Let's go to the second layer. I think we may want to change this one. We can see how it sounds as a grain. It's not too much different. Maybe let's change the position. Just duration a little bit. Maybe add some more grains. Maybe give it a little bite. So I'll add a little bit. And the elephant is already on, so just the amount. See how it sounds with the first layer. Already pretty cool, so. so. I think the fourth layer is just a little too loud for me. Let's see what this one's doing. This one has a lot of body. I think I'm going to just trim that up a bit. So this is a high pass filter that we have on each one of these. Just easily do something like that. Let's see if we can make this a little bit more interesting. Maybe what I can do is pan it. So all I'm doing is sending the LFO to the pan here. Okay, and then maybe let's add the step modulator. I think I'm going to take the LFO off the volume, so I'm going to control click on the amount and I'll put it back at zero. Let's increase this a little bit. All right, that's kind of an interesting effect. So let's hear it with the rest of this. Another thing I can do, because I don't really like this sound too far up in the register, so what I can do is I can actually change the range. So if I go to the high key and just press the key on the keyboard where I want it to stop, uh, let's say that's C2. Oops, C2, there we go. So it won't go above C2 now. I can hear it there, I play middle C, it's not present. Um, maybe let's do a full pan on the second layer here. So 
so already we have something pretty interesting. Um, it's just kind of playing around with it and seeing what you have um, and just starting to understand this. So I would advise um, if you're trying to find a certain sound or figure out kind of what's going on, start off with this init rhythm template. And if four layers is still kind of a lot to wrap your head around, you can easily just bypass these. I'm doing it on the simple layer here, but you can also go back to the advanced and do it up here, find the little red button there. And now the only layer that's playing is the first layer. And as you can see, as I'm kind of switching things out and trying things around, I can easily rebalance by just going up here and going to the volume knobs and just uh, trying to find a happy medium uh, where everything's just kind of playing nicely and blending together. And so, so that's really the idea on how to create presets using this and just kind of experimenting. Another thing I didn't really touch too much in this is if you want to balance uh, the levels without going to the individual knobs, you can do it with the XY here. Uh, another thing you can do with the XY is you can actually learn the X and the Y. So we have these two buttons down here. Just right click, learn CC, do the same for the Y, and then you can automate it in your DAW. So hopefully that's a quick overview on how to get started with Padmotion Layers. Thanks.